Good morning internet, so it's Wednesday morning, it is, well it's 10 to 12, so just about the morning, it's the 13th of March and it's absolutely a lovely day, look at this, eh? Now I've been out for about an hour riding round, uh, but we're coming to a noisy spot now so I thought you know what, get the cameras on, look at that, my favourite thing in the sea. <laughs> so, and this morning, we're out on the little meteor, and it's running, or she, Gigi, is running absolutely gorgeous, and, uh, hey, it, I mean, come on, is this it, is this spring, is spring finally going to be up on us, hopefully, I know it's not the date yet, but even so, it doesn't mean to say that we can't look forward to the weather. Now, it's a bit blowy this morning, but uh, but it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's warm. The sun is on my back, uh, and that that is such a good feeling. I haven't had that for so long. Right. So yeah, I've been out for about, I don't know, just over an hour I suppose, and I sort of come round in a big loop, uh, and this is where I intended to come, and I thought, okay, we'll get the camera switched on here, and uh, any marvellous, everybody dodges round it, look, <laughs> nobody stops to pick it up, never mind. Now if my mate's watching this video back in the UK, Rob, uh, if he casts his mind back to when he come over to see me a few years back, we actually, where that camper van is up there, see, we actually sat up there and we had our lunch. Happy days. And the weather, in fact, no, to be honest, I, yeah, it was. It could have been that bench there. But anyway, it was there. If you remember that one, Rob. Right. So, there you go, <laughs> memories. <laughs> it, you know what, when you get a bit of sunshine, doesn't it make all the difference, eh? Now I'm just thinking to myself, that roof there, is that, is that a victim of the storm? Possibly. It's a lovely little area around here. This, actually, if you keep on this road, uh, in straight on this road you do actually come to a place called the Point du Ra or the Point de Raz. I was on about this the other way and we are actually going to go there but not today not today this is just a, a bit of a ride out today so yeah but we will actually do that one because it's uh there's a nice walk as well oh, don't get me wrong we won't do all the walk but we will certainly do some of the walk but I, when I, uh, it's my daughter's birthday today, 12 year old, God bless her, eh? uh, so we was all up early because, you know, it's a school day like so, um, and then I, I looked at it and I thought, you know what, it's not raining, because yesterday was a miserable day here again, got that drizzly rain, and I thought, you know what, today is not a bad day at all, so, get out on the bike, have a spin. That's what it's all about, eh? They love their 30 zones now. I mean, like I've said so many times before, it's no big deal, really, you know. Uh, and I suppose it's right. Well, it is right. There's no suppose about it, is it? But again, sometimes you have to look and think, well, for what reason? I don't know. I'm not sure if that was our right away or wasn't our right. <laughs> but the car behind me is coming through anyway, so you know. Who <laughs> seems to be wanting to try and sit? Well, he's turning off now. He's one of these, uh, one of these tailgaters, like you know, ain't got a brain cell to work out that. If I stop, he's going to knock me flying, but never mind, eh? He's gone now, so there you go. There's always 
always seems to be work going on in this part. I don't, I don't often come here uh, unless I sort of come to the point there are in that way. But they're always doing something here. They're always working on something. <coughs> Must be a French village with a bit of spare cash, eh? That's a funny looking look at that look, eh? <laughs> oh dear. It's only they get blown down in the storm. There is a lot of traffic calming through this village though, I've got to say. Not normally this much. <laughs> Look at that, almost, almost cloudless in a way today which is really good because I do believe looking at the weather forecast that we've got this for a couple of days now which which is good uh, and then dare I say we have the dreaded rain come back it's it's a bit worrying really because so many of these meteorologists I think that's the word I'm looking for are all saying that you know our summers in this part of the world are going to get wetter and wetter which you know as i've said before <laughs> if you like any outdoor sports that's not that's not what you want to wear is it you know it really isn't let's hope they got it wrong eh? Right, now we're going to turn off somewhere around here, I think, if I remember correctly. And we're going to get down and, uh, and we're going to sort of do the loop back. But this way, I absolutely love this view. I think... I think I've actually bought you this way before. I've got a feeling, yeah, this is it here. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to turn off down here now because if you carry straight on here this is this you would actually get to the point there are but this bit here i just there's just something about this i just love this so hopefully we've got nothing behind us which we haven't it's just i just like this this bit of a view which you'll see in a minute so oh some horses here Almost bit of twisty road, eh? Now look at this. This is the one. Look, look at this. When you turn here, right? Let's not nice and slow. Look at that. That's a lakey bit there. Look, which isn't fed by the tide. Hey, right, look at that. I mean, that is in it. Hey, come on. Whether you like the sea as much as I do, or whether you don't, there's a helicopter up there, but the go there's no way. Is the GoPro going to pick it up? But there is one. I don't know whether you can actually see. It's just off there, coming to the right of the picture now, coming across. But look at that, eh? Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that is a lovely view on a lovely day, eh? It really is. I mean, summertime, this gets past. Actually, we might see the helicopter. He's, he's coming our way. See? Can you? I don't know. Maybe. There it is. He's not that, he's not that old, you can see there, look, you've got to be able to, even the GoPro's got to get, get that. Oh, I can't, I, I can't do the neck anymore. <laughs> oh, he's going round, look. You know, that looked very much like English, that looked very much like, you know, the three, sir, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe it's me. He's playing, isn't he? Look, he's playing. Fair play to him.
But yeah, what a nice lo oh he's there again. What a nice location this is, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. There's always campers there. I can hear that, I can hear that helicopter again. Oh he's here now, look. Look, see him there, look. There he is, look. Hey? Okay, right. <laughs> Fair enough. So there you go, eh? <laughs> right. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to go this way. It's a shame because my uh, my kids have just had two weeks off for the half term and the weather was absolutely awful. I mean, it literally, it rained virtually every day, you know. And, uh, and so Monday, they went back to school. And <laughs> although uh, Monday and Tuesday wasn't the best of days, you know, but at least we could have done something and today especially you know and and it's always the way so for two weeks because you know when the weather's that bad there's not really much that you can do is that you know to go out and just sort of try and dodge the rain is just a joke and so you end up staying at home and like doing well doing nothing really you know uh, and it's worse for the kids because my my son now He's got his, uh, he's, he's, he's got his, like, his, his scooter, you know, and, uh, see these, uh, see these here, look, these old windmills, look, see, look at that, I don't think they've turned for a few years, but yeah, like I was saying, he's, uh, he's got his scooter now, you know, uh, and of course, you know, his mates have as well, and, uh, you know, they're stuck in, you know what I mean? They're just stuck in with this weather. So basically, they sort of spend time on the internet, which, you know, I don't, I don't like that. You know, it's, uh, I don't like kids being stuck on the internet all the time, but sometimes, unfortunately, there's not much you can really do because, you know, like I said, <clears throat> when the weather was as bad as it was that's it end of of course they don't moan too much because uh, what I tried to do I tried to limit the amount of time they spend on the internet because you know I know I'm a terrible father according to them you know oh it's not fair I'm eight on it all the time but uh, if you can actually get them out you know, they actually love it, you know what I mean? They, they, it's great for them, you know? Makes their lives so much better. I mean, we're so lucky where we live. Fresh air, loads to do, you know, beaches, you lakes, walks, beautiful walks. Although I've got to be honest, kids aren't really into walking. I love walking, but they're, with the old knees these days, it's, uh, it's not the most easiest thing to do, but hey ho. Well, I still try, you know. Hobbles are us, as they say. Looks like these trees here might have been uh, a few more flattened in the storm, and so they cut them down. They're everywhere, they really are. Such a shame. Roger, when you look, I mean, in this small sort of area of the right, which is very small area in France, the trees, there's trees everywhere, you know, and some of them, I mean, you, I mean, I just don't know how old they are, but it's, uh, they're certainly pretty old. And uh, I suppose when you get a wind 
as strong as that one was some of these old things they they just don't stand a chance do they you know mother nature at its worst well the bike's running nice again i'm very glad to say I'm just looking, I'm, I'm, uh, I want to try and get away in May, the, it's my birthday on the, on the 4th of May, uh, May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day, anyway, so my wife being the absolutely lovely lady that she is, she said, why don't you have a few days away on the bike, you know, have a few days camping or whatever, which, no, that's great, Look at this, hey, there's a few trees in here come down, look, look at this lot, hey, dearie me, anyway, uh, so I've been looking at sort of sites and that sort of thing and, you know, sticking a tent on again, but the only thing that's a little bit worrying is May, that early in May, it, you know what I mean, it can be a bit iffy to say the least, it's not so much the rain, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's nice not to have the rain, but if you do, you do. But the the bit that I'm more concerned about is the beginning of May, you the nights can certainly be a bit chilly, you know what I mean? And uh, there's nothing worse than if you're in a tent and it's cold. You know what I mean? It's just not nice, is it? It's not nice at all. And uh, so I'm sort of thinking, yeah, I don't want to go miles away. Uh, because, you know, obviously, like, you know, I mean, if I was to do six, seven hours and get sort of down the Von D and that way, then obviously the temperatures come up a lot more. But I don't, I don't really want to do that, you know, I don't, I don't really want to go that far just yet in May. Because um, I've still got a few things to do with that, which I've worked wise, and uh, so yeah. So basically, uh, I'm still, you know, maybe on the edge of the Breton, so <laughs> which is never good news, and uh, and uh, yeah. So so it's the cold nights, and of course, you know. I mean, I've got a really good sleeping bag. I've had it for years now, literally years. 20, 25, 30 years old. Uh, and it's absolutely brilliant, it's so warm. But it's not that, is it, you know? It's when you, it's when you get up and you're, you know, having your coffee and, you know, you gotta go in the shower block and... And uh, it didn't seem to matter when you was younger. You know, you could, you could sort of, yeah, and everything's fine, but as you get older it sort of makes the difference you know the, that cold sets in and you just don't seem to be able to shift it it's a motorbike side car there i do believe it is it is yeah hey look at it hey look okay <laughs> i love it hey i had a side car once years ago uh back in the 70s because back then um your you could ride a 250 up to a 250 on on a learner license but anything over the 250 the only way that you could ride it is if you had a sidecar on and of course there was all sorts of sidecars they basically just made a sidecar literally but it wasn't of any use as in a sidecar but it still classed as a sidecar and that was a sort of loop where you can have something bigger you know um, which I did for a while but it's a whole different ball game riding a bike with a sidecar on so yeah it was easier just to pass your test <laughs> and that way you know there was no aggravation you wasn't upsetting anyone you wasn't breaking the law and that was it but some of these combinations, I mean, I don't know what that was. I don't. It looked in really good condition. So it was either a, a newish 
combination an old i mean it looked like an old style bike um or it was one that's been either done up or was really looked after so yeah either way fair play you know and i mean i don't know but i imagine it was it was sir on the bike and madam in the sidecar both looking very happy and jolly and that's what it's all about and what a beautiful day they have for it as well there's a lot of wind there wasn't this many uh wind generators the last time i come up here there's a few now though eh? still they're putting them there's a lot more planned in france and like i say why not you know it's what it's all about isn't it eh? save the planet and all that it's good for everyone but yeah the last time i was here i think there was about four well there's, there's a lot more than four now Now today, I've got, I'm back to the thermals on the top, but not the thermals on the bottom. And I've got to be honest, it's not too bad, you know. The jeans, the jeans are holding out well, they really are at the moment. The legs are not freezing, so that I can live with. You know, there's so many cyclists. I love, I love it when the weather gets better, and yeah, especially like in the holiday time. You know, you get so many people come over on push bikes. You know, carrying all the gear and cycling, and whew, I mean, fair, fair play to them. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm afraid my days. I, I do because we've all got bikes. But uh, it just absolutely kills my knees, it really does. Uh, if I ride my push bike now, I mean, literally I'm in a lot of pain for a lot of days. There's a sea again, look, over there. That's the Bay of Duane and I, again, from a different angle from where we was the other day. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The, doc, the doctor wants me uh, to have have the two knee replacements you know because they have my hip done and that's sorted but i don't know you hear some really weird stories about knees that you lose a lot of the bendability and the flexibility and oh, i don't know i'm not too sure uh it's you know i mean the thing is you can't have it done and then it goes wrong and you say well i'll tell you what can i have my knackered kneecap back <laughs> It just doesn't work like that, does it? You know, so once I've cut that out, that's it, gone. So, I don't know. I mean, I ummed and hard for about two years over me. And I think the only reason that really pushed me in the end was it was just that painful because I, I don't take pain, I don't like painkillers. I, I hate painkillers. I have to literally be in agony before I'll take a painkiller um, so you know and then I had it done and you know like I said I'm glad I did but the knees oh, I'm not sure I'm really not sure what to do I mean the thing is the doctors all say they say oh we'll be okay yeah best thing that you'll ever do blah de blah which is fine you know um, and maybe I think the trouble is I think you know a lot of doctors they sort of thing might do the looking at it as an age thing you know oh if you're in your late 60s which even though i hate to admit it but i am uh you know but you 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 sort of they think that at that age you know you you're going to do yourself a favor by having it done you know But yeah, I'm not too sure, as I keep saying.
this is a nice little village I come here a few times in the summer they have a or well, they used to have a bike show here every year called Rock and Wheels but it's uh, it's relocated now it's moved some, somewhere else but yeah nice place I do I, I do like this place I know you know a, a lot of villages all look the same there's a bit of a start in the road there though Well, we have a few more clouds creeping in in the distance, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. Well, I'd like to think not, anyway. There's a few bugs floating around now. Just, just before I put the cameras on. I don't know what hit me in the visor, but it was a fair size. It was a real dunk, you know what I mean? So, uh, probably those pesky blooming flaming of all these things I hate them all these I live in fear of all these I really do uh, horrible things I always remember when I was a kid my mum used to say, say to me oh if you stand st mind you they weren't all these then you know they were wasps uh, I mean all these in the UK at them days just wasn't heard of was it in fact that I I don't think they was even in Europe in them days or if they was it was like you know the far south of Europe anyway she used to say to me if uh, if a wasp or a bee came anywhere in here now stand still if you stand still and keep still they'll leave you alone and my mum used to give me some really good advice she really did only that one I never used to consider as good advice I really didn't because I always remember the once I did exactly as she said I kept still and it landed on my face and it it stung me I didn't move I just I, I think I didn't move because I was like oh no and and I sort of froze you know and it, it it landed on my cheek and then it had a little sort of stroll round and stung me and ever since that day no, I don't just stand still. No. If they come anywhere near me, that's it. I'm off. <laughs> right, we're gonna go. Are we gonna go? No. Oh no, no. It's alright, sorry about that man. <laughs> oh god there, so you're turning or what? I was thinking of going down here, but no. We'll carry on this way a bit, I think. Half the time I forget where these roads go. They all look the same, you know. Uh, and half the time you sort of forget which way I'm going and which way I'm gonna go on it but yeah I'm gonna go I am actually gonna go this way now in actual fact in actual fact I'm not I'm gonna go on a bit Because I thought that was the one down here, and it's this one here I want. Hi. There you go.
just opened it, the GoPro is still going. Oh, it's a bit windy here. Yeah? Mind you, we're not, I suppose we're not far off the coast and at the same time it's pretty open so yeah, we're going to get the wind. Certainly going to get the wind. Now, these little meteors, a lot of people sort of, I remember before I bought it, you know, there were so many people used to go on about them that they, they're gutless and, oh no, you know, and again, you sort of got to go back to look at the thing, well, if you're thinking of buying Summit, you, you actually should do your own work first, shouldn't you? But, and I know, I know I've changed the, the air filter on this, which is, you know, it does make a bit of a difference, but nothing huge. But uh, I don't think they've got this at all. I mean, round here, this bike is absolutely lovely. It's great. I mean, you know, look at this here, look, it's pulling up. I don't want to go any quicker, you know? I, oh god, that was a nice I, That was a... I could have bit my tongue then. <laughs> but I didn't. No, but do you know what I mean? I mean, you... you. Uh, I, I just... I think they're great, you know? They're a lovely... They're a pleasure to ride. They're easy to ride. Uh, like I say, getting on them off them. On and off them is absolutely brilliant, you know? Makes a huge difference. And... Uh, yeah, I just love them, I really do. I mean, pe people go away on these bikes, you know? You know, they sort of go away and they load them up. I mean, at the end of the day, there's a lot that you can do with them. Now, we're going to go this way because we're going to go... We're going to go up the side of the little church here and cut through, if we can. We used to be able to. I'm hoping that we still can. There's a little monument here as well. Oh, dearie, but don't know what that was. No, I think we can still go up here. Yeah, looks good. On the cobbles, look here. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> this, this is, this is legal, by the way. Oh, good. I forgot that the meter's suspension is attached off. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Little detour. It's alright, it just coming this way, it cuts uh, it cuts quite a bit off. <laughs> this is the only criticism of this bike that I've got, it really is. It's a bit of a bad, you know, because some of these roads can be a bit bumpy and uh, and it, it can be a bit of a bone shaker, you know. I mean, it's nothing. I mean look, we come on to a decent bit here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Still cannot knock this weather at all. I but look at this. Absolutely beautiful. A bit of a tree bit the dust there, look. It 
So there's a few more here, look. All over the place, eh? Dear me. Bit of flooding going on. That always floods there. That that is actually that is actually a river there. Only a small one. But uh, and that's the reason that it floods there. It always does. Sometimes it's that bad there that 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 complete road is like unusable. So yeah. Right, Mahalon. We're in Mahalon. This place every summer holds a nice fete or fate and uh, they close it all off here and there's all tables and chairs and they have all food and partying and it's quite good it's, it's quite good but a lot of the uh, this is a good old Marie look hey eh? every village has one That's a Marie, by the way, not an idiot. Or whichever way you look at it, really. And, uh, oh, Jesus. Hey, I forgot. <laughs> that was a thudder. <laughs> yes, certainly does. The suspension certainly is a bit hard on these bikes. What's the time? 12.30 nearly, well 12.29 to be precise that was a no That's a nice morning for me, yeah I've enjoyed this, it's been really good So, nearly back home I hope you've enjoyed this video <laughs> hasn't exactly been anything out of the ordinary just me riding around mumbling away but for once nice and relaxed so I'm going to end this video now because I'm going to stop at my daughter's on the way home bless her she's got a cold and she's run out of coffee apparently so I've got some coffee with me which I'm going to drop into her and uh, right I'll see you in the next video so take care thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed what i've done i hope you enjoyed where i've been if you did give me a give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already i'd really appreciate that right i'll see you in the next video take care see you later bye for now